Hello everybody, Bright Dark Guy here, and welcome. Welcome to Core Keeper. Alright, this game is uh, like a mix between Terraria and Stardew Valley if they had a little baby, and uh, this is pretty freaking fun. So, I'm going to jump on in and create a new world. going to name it uh, YT, because, uh, yeah, why not? We're going to go for the little froggy face. I'm going to play normal, and I did find a seed. Because I was like looking around for an interesting start. And I didn't really play much of it. But uh, I like the start of it. So I'm going to choose this one. So that's the seed. 623-787-686444. And uh, let's jump right on into it. I see I have a character here already. But we won't be using that one. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, let's go. Kind of hairstyle we want. I'm going to go with the mohawk with this guy. Uh, typical green. Where are you? There we go. Shirt. Uh, let's go with like, wow. Yeah. I like blue. I'm a Libra, so, you know, whole blue thing. Um, so, I think we're going to start off as a mage. And then, we're also going to be like a warlock in this. So, I want like a combo of the two. Um, so, I'm going to start with a mage. And we're just going to call him Burnt Out. Sounds good. Love it. Alright, let's start. In a place far away from anywhere else. You are part of a group of explorers making your way through the forest. Feeling a strange presence, you notice something between the trees. Drawn to it, you approach this strange relic and raise your hand towards it. Upon touching its surface, a blinding light engulfs you. Uh-oh. Where are we going? <clears throat> wow. Awesome. Totally awesome. Where the hell are we, he says, huh? Alright, so in good old typical Minecraft fashion. Let's move that out of the way. Alright, so you start off here. <clears throat> and this is like uh, your main hub. So if you die, you're just going to like teleport back here. This is like your respawn. So let's make a whole bunch of torches so we can see what the heck we're doing. Alright, that's a uh, sort of torch here. Here. So, um, these things here are also pretty important. Um, every time you beat a boss, you're going to get a, a gem to put in them. And they're going to help you discover where the other bosses are. And I'll show you why in just a brief second why I chose this area. going to collect a bunch of wood here so that's how wood grows down here it grows like um i guess like a root oops and then these are mushrooms these are going to be good for food uh really good early game food so i suggest to pick up all the mushrooms you possibly can um, instead of using buff food so if you're just like characters hungry from running around instead of using like a buff food you can use like a mushroom food just to cure your uh, your stuff. So anyways, um, let's head off this way for a second. Now, mining is a little slow at first, but you can do it with your hand. Um, it's not much of a problem. But as you can see, we got water right here. And if we uh, look at the map, this water goes all the way down here like this. So I'm pretty much well, almost all surrounded on one side by water. 
And I thought it'd be really nice to kind of do some kind of a little bit of a build and have water kind of going around our base. And just because there was so much water here to begin with, I figured, hey, why not? So that's kind of the plan. And it goes really good, too, because you can do um, early game fishing and stuff like that. So I'm just going to make sure that the uh, game uh, sound isn't too, too high. Oop. Uh, sound effects are a little, are a little high. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Won't be as uh, as annoying. So you get to clear out a little bit of an area, and uh, that's what I'm going to do at first. That would be probably a good thing to do. Um, but I don't want to do that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start mining this way and uh, checking out what's out there. Because, I, like I said, I haven't really discovered much on this map. It was just mainly like the beginning and I did like adventure slightly around me so um, the one thing I did discover and he's down here somewhere is the first boss so down here if I go down this way uh, he's down here somewhere I don't know exactly where he is but uh, when I was clearing out this part on my other map I could hear him bouncing around so he's he's really close the first boss which is good which is good because that means we're not gonna have to go far to to beat the first guy <clears throat> There's no, as far as I know, there's no real advantage to rushing to beating all the bosses. Um, just adventure and have fun and see what's out there, I guess, is more or less what we're going to do. Nice casual cozy game. Another thing too is you got to skills. So as you progressively level up in your mining, so every five levels you'll be able to put points into here. And uh, we'll be able to mine a little bit faster. Which will, will be good. I'll be looking forward to that. Hey, look at that. Treasure chest. So there's chests hidden all over the world too as well. But uh, you need to find a key for it. And the keys aren't always easily found. Um, I think monsters drop the keys. You can fish the keys. So that's another good thing. If you get uh, higher fishing, you can fish the the keys out of the uh, out of the water. Which is nice. So we'll just keep on going and we'll see what's out here. As you see, we just got a new talent point and that was for mining. So if we look on our mining, we can get plus two mining damage. So that'll go all the way to plus 10 when you get the five levels. Uh, you can only put five levels in each uh, as far as I know. And um, try to work your way down. Each one has a different buff to it too. So you're going to want to check out what's going to work for you depending on your character build because some of them actually buff different skills uh like uh archery and stuff like that so if you are an archer if you uh go all the way down to your bottom you can see that this one right here boosts your uh no was it that one there was one mining damage added to melee damage so yeah this one right here added to melee damage and you got more mining speed explosive damage so depending on like what kind of build build you're looking for, you can like pick out different things. And fishing is the one I was looking for that was uh, out of range damage. So it's like you know depending on like what you wanted to be, you can get some extra little buffs and skills and stuff like that by choosing your skills properly. So, which I thought was pretty pretty handy and pretty neat. So this glimmering stuff in the wall you're gonna notice here is we're gonna start coming across the ores. And that's how you discover ores in the wall. So whenever you see this glimmering like that, you know you're heading towards ore. And then you just go and harvest it with your hand. Uh, later on, you're going to need a pickaxe because you're going to get into different types of uh, ores that require a pickaxe. <clears throat> which is good. But we'll go and uh, collect a little bit of this here. And you can spend your first little time mining all over the place. And finding ores. And... All that good stuff. But I'm also trying to find some rooms with possible treasure in it. Or um, rooms with... Oh, we're coming across something here. Rooms with, like, chests and crap like that. Oh, so this is a meadow biome that's coming up right here. So this is another biome. You can get uh, animals and stuff like that from these in particular biomes. And you can eventually raise them. Alright, so we're going to get our first little enemy here. 
I should actually put down a torch, so. Anyway, how's it going? Perfect. Oh. They dropped some stuff here on the ground. <clears throat> Lively egg. Got some scrap. So, you can find a bunch of rooms like this all over the place, and they pretty much will have stuff inside. I really should put some down, some torches. Um, then you got fruits that you can find on the ground. And you harvest them, you can get seeds from them as well. If I had a shovel, you can shovel these out. And you can uh, sometimes find some pretty good items in the ground. So this is a good place to come back to. Let's see if we can get this guy. There you go, that's pretty good. Now try to put some torches down this. Well, I had a lot of stuff in it. And then we can get a bunch of ore here at the same time. So, here, if I had some, if I was a ranger, I'd pretty much well have the whole, the whole set right here. I'm just missing the, the chest. Well, I'll just keep it for uh, the extra armor damage and stuff like that, even though I'm not a ranger. But, uh, I think that would be pretty good for now. <clears throat> a little bit of protection is better than no protection, as far as I'm concerned. So, Grab some ores here. Very important that we grab some of these ores. Because uh, we're going to need them back at the base. And we'll grab some more wood here at the same time. Because sometimes they'll have a chance to drop uh, the wood seeds. And then you can make a wood farm. And we can automate all that crap later on. A bunch of people have been playing this game for a few years now. And come up with uh, a lot of really nice automating farms. I've checked out quite a few of them. And... It, it makes sense, like, the way they have it, like, hooked up. So, when it comes time, I'll show you those. And they're pretty pretty easy. Um, they've been around for about two years, this game now, I think. So, uh, never heard of it. <laughs> I would, didn't know until uh, it came out that this game actually existed. So, that's pretty great. It's unfortunate. I've been behind on my times on really good games like this. So and then we got another mining point. So you can add another one there. So now we're up to 4% mining damage. So as you go on and uh, it's going to get easier and easier to do some mining, right? So go down and just check with this meadow. I believe those trees you can take too and you can end up bringing back to your base. So we got a whole meadows out here. Meadow block. I really don't want to take you though. I'll just throw a block here. So these guys here are non-hostile. Um, they're you can end up uh, breeding them and bring them back to your base and stuff like that and. Uh, They'll, I guess, they'll get you stuff. I'm not exactly sure what, though, but I uh, haven't really done anything like that. Like I said, I only got a couple hours played into this game in total, so um, really don't know a lot. No, there's lots of stuff to do. All right. That's pretty good. Got ourselves uh, some more stuff. Another simple staff. Same thing that I already got here. Another hood. So it's really good to adventure right off the bat, because then that way you can find some some stuff. We got some more ores over there. Should probably go get those. We'll see what else is around here at the same time too. Try to light this place up a bit and get some more wood. That would be good. There we go. That looks pretty decent. That looks pretty decent. All right, we'll head back home and uh, oh, well, there's uh, something over here I seen. So if you look on your map, you can sometimes see little red uh, squares. <clears throat> These are kind of neat. It's like TNT in the wall. 
Really great way to go and collect materials. Horrible and uh, detrimental if you find them around your base and you're trying to build. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. But yeah, we'll uh, throw some torches up here. Get some light going on in here. There you go. Now, see, my guy's going to start complaining about food because we really haven't done much. But they did start it off with a couple of rations. So that's uh, that's kind of nice. But we'll we'll start taking care of this uh, food problem right now, okay? Let's go light up the area a little bit first. Just because uh, it's kind of dark in here. There we go. Not, now it don't feel so dark. All right, so food-wise, food-wise, right? We need to make... A bench start off with some crafting stuff and we're gonna to do that so what I'm doing here is just all gonna be temporary we're gonna end up making ourselves a, a nice room and all that kind of stuff for crafting and the whole nine yards right so I think what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna throw everything in here for now because I want it out of my inventory uh, I should make another one, actually. And then we'll throw this one on this side. We'll throw the wood in there and the rest of the junk. All right, so the way these crafting tables work is they can read the inventories of adjacent chests, which is kind of handy. I like that. It's very nice. So we're going to make a furnace. That's going to be really important for us to, uh, to get hammered out right away because we did pick up some ores. So furnaces are pretty interesting as well. They do not require fuel, which is totally awesome. So after like, you know, a couple seconds, you're gonna get, it's a one for one ratio too, which is very, very nice. So we'll let that hammer away. And then in the meantime, what else do we got here? Oh yeah, we can make a scrap table afterwards, which would be really good because then we can repair our our tools and all that good stuff, which is very nice. We did find one piece of tin ore. That's kind of nice. Very G, very G. We'll just uh, plop this in here for now. Try to take out a few things and there we go. So I'm going to wait till this come done here. Uh, we actually got a few here. So that's not too bad. So let's see what we can, we can make with this. Can we just look at the top table, please? So we're going to need a salvage bench. We're definitely going to need a cooking pot. I think the cooking pot will be more important just because we need to get into some food right now too because our character is going to get hungry, right? So we can take uh, some of these mushrooms that we got here. And this is what I was saying. For just hunger-wise... Uh, what was it there? We got shift takes half. All right, so you're gonna make some soups and then you got a recipe book here so that way you can check out your recipes afterwards. Let that go. And then you can see it pops up here in your recipes. So then you can check to see what kind of different recipes you've made and stuff, right? So here, this one here is just uh, health regen and gives you food. So there's no extra required buff that goes along with that, like um, extra mining damage or melee damage or running speed. And there's all kinds of different little buffs that we can uh, we can get for our character, right? So here we go. Now we can eat some and he's all nice and happy now and we can make a bunch of food. Oh, look at that. Even got a new talent run level for running around. And then here, this is going to cost less food, which is beautiful. Loving that. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little bit of mining around the base here. Just to open this little section up a bit. And uh, get a little bit more ores. And then we're going to go on for um, another adventure and see what, uh, what else is out there. So now that most of that... Uh, copper is done now we can grab that out of there and we can continue kind of like crafting stuff so um we can make ourselves a salvage bench and then every time you get new ores from what i can tell so far is you're going to get a new type of crafting bench so we're going to take that one and then we're going to immediately replace it with that 
and then we'll put this one. I'll put that one there for now. All right. And then these ones here, you can't break down anymore. So I just trash them. That's no big deal. Then I can throw all my stuff in there and then say if I wanted to um, salvage stuff, I can salvage things and get scrap parts. Then you can also repair your items by throwing them in and using a repair. And this is for like upgrading your items later on. You can add your ability and stuff like that to them. Um, as far as I know, uh, from what I can read anyways, <laughs> never really used it yet. So, and then here we go. We got new things to create. So if we wanted to make new stuff, we can make new stuff. So we got our next one is a tin. And then what I'm going after is that right there. And I also want a fishing rod because fishing rods are going to be really good for us. Do I make one right off the bat? Because you're going to find lots of these. It's the second level one that I kind of want the most. The one off the tin belt, uh, the tin one, because it gives you 10, 10 inventory slots. It's only an extra five for now. I'm, yeah, why not? I'll make one. All right. So now we got a little bit extra inventory spot here, which is going to be good. All right. So fishing. Fishing is extremely good. And before I continue, I just want to let everybody know I'm using an auto fishing mod because I couldn't be bothered just to stand here and constantly click. And every time the exclamation mark happens, you're supposed to hit the button and it fishes for you. So as you can see, this will just automatically do it for me. And I'm not going to have to like destroy my mouse on trying to click a button for an hour and a half to two hours or whatever, when you're trying to like fish and get food. <clears throat> Now, the reason why I'm going to start fishing now is because we're going to start getting some food. And by getting food is going to be very important for where we're going. Because we're going to be going for a little adventure. So, I'm going to sit here and fish for a little while. And get a bunch of materials. And fish. And we'll come back and we'll do some cooking. And we'll show you the basics of cooking afterwards. Like, with specialty meals i guess with buffs so give me a little bit and i'll be back all right so we fish for about uh, 10 15 minutes and we end up getting a bunch of different stuff here so um you do get things that will help you fish so this is a good thing um that i uh, put that on right away this one gave me a uh, five percent dodge it's just a necklace so uh, these are the ranger pants we had before uh, we do find chests and keys, like I was saying in here, and we do get a bunch of food, some raw materials, and these are things to sell, all right? We do get bombs as well. Bombs are pretty handy. They're kind of fun. So, uh, I think first things first is we're going to put down this chest, and then I think we had another one too, right? Oop. There we go. And we'll put both of those down, and then we'll use the key, put the key in. Here, put the key in, and then now let's see what we get. Oh, beautiful. This is exactly what I was hoping to get. Some apprentice stuff. All right, so we got some tin, some stuff to sell. What did we get in the other one? Um, A larva ring. I guess I'll take the max, the max health for now. And then some stuff to sell. These are money. That's what the currency looks like. And mechanical parts, you're going to need these in order to do stuff like that. What's in here? Um, I think these are like to some of them, they have weapons and other ones are to find uh, where the next boss is. So that's pretty good. So now we actually found this. That's great. So I'm going to keep a pair of those pants. That's going to make us a little bit, uh, a little bit tougher in magic wise. Uh... So for whenever we do fishing and stuff like that, I will keep some of this. I'm going to need some more. Um, I'll use these chests, actually. Come to think of it, right? And then we can throw that larva ring on there so we can get some more some more stuff. It's all materials and then fish. All right, so we'll put this here for now. I'll start smelting that stuff. And then let's do some cooking and check out some buffs here. So one of the things I kind of like to do is um, <clears throat> just kind of like throw two in at a time. 
and then you see what the buffs are, right? So the first buff is going to be on the top is whatever fish that you put here, and your another one is going to be the buff at the bottom, if I'm not mistaken, right? So the yellow ones give us mining damage, and the blue ones give us magic barrier. So, if, you know, we're looking for um, something that gives us more magic protection. The blue ones would be good for that. These ones... The crabs, I think it's like a, um, uh, almost like an iron skin kind of thing. It helps you, uh, protect yourself. You brings your defense up. See, it gives you more armor. So combining the, this fish and this fish would be really good. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. That way I can mine faster to get wherever we're going. And we're also going to get a little bit of a, a food buff, um, I don't remember what these ones do. I'll have to look after. But we'll let that go and we'll come back uh, when all these are cooked. Alright, so these ones are all done. So we'll grab those. Let's check out what uh, these ones give. Just to make us a few extra little different types of food. That way we can go adventuring and find some more stuff. Alright, physical melee damage. Uh, it's not too, too shabby. I'll just grab it for food for now. And then um, we'll just throw the rest of the fish in here for now. So I'll wait for these to get done and then we'll uh, we'll do some adventuring. We've got all that done. So our skills so far come along pretty good. Got three levels into fishing. Uh, three levels, well, 15 levels really. but in, uh, And same into mining. Our magic will go up because we're using magic. That's from cooking. And then this one is from... Uh, crafting torches and mainly torches right now and this is just from us running around so that's pretty good pretty good so what we'll do is we'll use these ones here first and we'll do some adventuring so let's go see what we can find where i think i'm gonna go down first because i think we're gonna go over towards the boss that's over here and see if we can Maybe pick a fight. I'd like to try to find the... Ah, oh, what the hell is it? It's it's an item for... For the... Um... Oh, I'm trying to think. The Warlock. I was trying to... That's sort of the word I'm looking for. Alright, let's go this way. Things are going to be a little dark here and there. Sorry. I'm going to try to put torches uh, as much as I can here as we go. So that way you all can see what's going on. Uh, crap. There we go. So we got some torches here. I know it's uh, this area is pretty watery. So that's why I kind of came down here first. Make your way around. Crap. <laughs> Did I take him out? I think I took him out. This is good. Because now we'll be able to get um, a bunch more mushrooms over here. This would be nice for a little mushroom farm. And then we can come get more food here. So mushrooms will grow back on these little mycelium patches. So as long as you leave it kind of dark... They'll, uh, they will grow back. So I'll try not to put too many torches down here. Did forget one. There is something over here. So let's see what we find here. Anything good. Okay, so that's not bad. That gives us a dodge. And we got some big bombs. So space will give us a little bit of a dodge. So we can dodge to one side or the other. Which is kind of nice. Mm. I won't mind that at all. Oh, hello. That was a bad shot. Take that. Gotta put up more torches, man. That's why I made so many torches. I got you on the way by. There you are. Haha. -ha. So these guys will drop either some kind of seed or 
um, a mushroom, so it's kind of nice. Now I said I didn't want to put down too many torches, but at the same time too, I do want to see what's going on. Alright, just to collect some food. Alright, let's go, let's go this way. Because I do want to see if, uh, how close that boss is. Pretty sure he's like really, really, really close. Let's put down some torches here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can see the screen shaking. Oh, well, we can build like a path going over. There you go. So here's the first boss right down here. Ooh. Do you think we could do it? Like, honestly? You think we can do it? It's not super, super tough. Okay, so that's a hole in the ground. These slimes are really nice. They don't bother you. It's the bigger ones. And he looks like he's surrounded by water too. That's kind of... That's kind of dope. This is all part of the big lake that I'm surrounded by. I think that's pretty awesome. Alright. Um... You know what? Let's give it a try. Okay, so I that's got a specific range to it. So you're going to want to try to stay off the slime. Then he's going to kind of go berserk as he... Uh, Ah, oh, crap. Oh, he got me there. Got me there, too. Try to go where there's no slime. There, now he's gonna go ape shit. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. my dodge as fast as I can. Nice, we got him. We got him. First try. Awesome. That's so dope. And now we wake up our first villager. That's so awesome. So I'm just going to grab all of that and we're going to go back and we'll check out what we got when we go back home. <laughs> awesome. So we managed to kill the first boss, everybody. I'm super happy with that. That's a good start. It's a good start. And we got a nice chest too to start. And we can put all of our items in there. Alright, so now back home. This is the boss that we killed. We can take that gem that we got from him. And we can put him in here. <clears throat> These are going to unlock the next two bosses where they are. That I show you on your map. And we almost died there. I'm just looking at my health flashing. That is hilarious. And then you can also make a slime sword. So if you were a melee, you could get some uh, slime sword action going on here. So, we ended up getting Ranger Tunic, which is fine. Um, that. Uh, this here is to bring the NPC to the, the base. And, uh, yeah. So, I guess we really didn't get everything too, too great, really, honestly. You can farm that boss. Uh, once you get the... Once you kill the second boss, you can actually start farming him. So, we'll just uh, throw a bunch of crap in here for now. I think that would be a good idea. And then you could quick throw your stuff in a box, which is nice. And then we'll just throw all this in here for now. I couldn't be bothered. Uh, I just want to keep my food though. And then that we'll put up here. Good. That's pretty awesome. All right, so we got that going. I think we should do some more adventuring and uh, look to see if I can find the, um, I should put those up here too. Just so that way I can get uh, my health back up. Yeah, all right, so I'll get my health back up. We'll start adventuring and I want to see if I can find some warlock stuff before we're, uh, we're done for today. Um, that would be really, really great. 
All right, so let's uh, heal up here. All right, so we're all nice and healed up. Uh, let's go and see what's farther this way. Um, you know what? Let's go up. Uh, what did I just pick up? A chest? That was hilarious. Okay. I wasn't expecting a chest to be sitting there like that. That was a good guess. Uh, I got a geode, some gold. Ah, all right. Let's put down. Oh, it was right there. Interesting. That's hilarious. That is funny. All right. Let's keep going this way. I'll end up coming back for all these ores afterwards. We're just going to do some adventuring and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Talent point for running. It's always good. Actually, I should put on now because that'll save me a little bit of hunger, which is great. Oh, there's a big room here. Seem to be going by. All right, let's uh, throw some torches down. All right, that's good. Now, oh, what did we get here? Uh, so far, nothing too good. Nothing too good. Just the normal, the normal stuff. It's going to be in like boxes like that that you're going to find usually what you're looking for. Now these things are all the explodey ones. Uh, I'm going to have to go over here and do it myself. Oh, wasn't too many of them. There's a fruit over there. Awesome. What else we got over here? Oh, a good place to get some ores anyways. More mushrooms for food. Won't say no. Good early game food. What we got over here? Got a meadow. Some more of these guys. Whole whack of these guys. Pretty good for uh, starting experience, I guess. There you go. I'll come back. Okay, so this is another thing we're we're looking for, right here. See these? These are nodes. Oh, look at all the chests and stuff up here. Um, what these are gonna do is uh, we're gonna be able to use these for mining. And we're going to be able to get all kinds of copper from this. Uh, there's a node for, I believe, each type of material. So this is a really good thing that we found. Uh, happy to see that. So let's go and collect the stuff here. We might get lucky and get some of this uh, warlock stuff I'm looking for. Looks like I'm leaving stuff on the ground, so I'm pretty full. This I can trash because I don't want it. That's for pets. That's just sand. That was bread. There looks like a, there's a cap here. Mm, what don't I want? Everything's kind of useful. Ah, that I can just put there for now. All right, let me go drop this off at home and we'll come back. All right, so now we're back. We'll just go and collect all this stuff that's over here. Still hoping I'm gonna find what I'm looking for. Probably not, but you never know. I think sometimes uh, enemies drop that stuff as well, but uh, yeah, nothing yet, nothing yet. All right, let's keep going. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to get the, the Warlock book would be nice, because then we could uh, start summoning enemies. Pretty dope. 
All right. Uh, you know what? Let's go this way. Oh, look at that. Finding crap all over the place. Yeah, good, good loot and stuff anyways. Alright. Should be able to make it across there. Take that. And you take that. And you take this pretty good. Oh, that was a good shot. Alright, more mushrooms. Like that. Give me all the good stuff. Free food. Just gotta pick it up. Alright, so what else we got out here? I know I haven't been picking up much of the ores and stuff like that, but uh, I'll do a bunch of mining uh, off... Uh, off cam, I guess. And we'll get some resources in between episodes. Alright. Trying to pick up all these berries, too. There we go. Take that, buddy. Alright, that's pretty good. Oh, I got some, like, tall grass stuff up here. What's this? Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, a bunch of stuff in there. A bunch of seeds. Interesting. Take the chest. What does that give you? Tall grass. I guess that's just something placeable. Oh. That was a torch there, Bog. Oh, yeah, you could just place that crap. All right. Uh, so, we got ores that way and ores that way. Let's just go up. Oh, look at that. It looks like there's something up this way. A room. Small room. Alright, let's uh, light this bad boy up. Oh, look at this. More crap, man. More crap. I like it. Oh, hello, guys. Thanks for breaking the boxes open for me. Very nice, very nice. Very good, very good. What else we got here? Thank you for your patronage. Oh, we're going to start getting into these guys over here. Oh, these guys are tough. These guys are tough little guys. Um... They have spears and all that crap. And uh, you can get the witch doctor stuff from them. Oh, what's this? Got a little, little place here. You can pick these up too if you wanted. So we really haven't been getting anything too, too, too spectacular now, have we? Which is unfortunate. Hmm. All right. Well, let's keep going. We'll see what we get here eventually. Hey, man. Dumb, dumb. I'm getting pretty lucky. These are the blue gems. Oh, what's this? Interesting. Oh, I only had one of those. Narf. All right. What's over here? What is this place? Interesting. I wonder what this place is. Oh, it's another one of them, huh? Uh, yeah, I can trash one of those. Running. Okay, so there's these guys, the clay caves. That's where we discover the clay caves. So we should be able to get lots of tin up here. Um, that'd be good. 
so this is uh, pretty much all, and that's the rocks. Interesting. That's all like open void here. That's pretty neat. Like that. Hey, these little guys there. Oh, I can get you too. Come on, man. <laughs> well, you heal yourself too. Mana is low. Like little miners. They do actually mine stuff. They're pretty tough too, as you can see. Yeah, lots of XP. Wow. Alright, so we'll let you be, I guess, for now. We'll go uh, adventure some more. I'll pick up some more of these mushrooms. That'd be good. Then we'll go drop some stuff off at home and we'll choose a different direction. That'd be good. What is that? Oh, a lively egg. That's a pet. Alright, so just looking at the time of the video, it looks like we uh, got pretty much all that's it for today. So we were pretty successful on a good start. We managed to beat the first boss, do a little bit of adventuring, find some uh, some beginner gear here. Uh, I'm okay with that. That sounds pretty good. And the next time we'll get into some maybe some farming. And in between episodes, I'll do some fishing and mining and get us some resources. So that way we can um, we can set up some farms. I think that would be a really good idea. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.